Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lynn and in front of me I have the Spellbinders April 2024 club kits that I'll be crafting with this month. I don't get everything but I will show you what I do get. I'm filming this in advance so by the time you see this video I should already have my flip video out and that's where I make at least one flat, one layered, one interactive, and one pop-up card. As well this month I did something a little bit different. I had a Crafty Fun with Friends episode on the first of the month with some of my friends who are also Spellbinders influencers and together we showed um, a variety of different club kits. So if you missed either of those you um, can catch the replay of the live stream or catch the um, flip video in my Spellbinders playlist, which I'll link to at the end of this video, but I'll also leave links in the description box below as well. Here are the club kits that I get. So the what I really love about the Wax Seal and the Glimmer of the Month uh, clubs is that you do get the some consumables with it when you are a club member and one of the um, benefits to that is that it, while it is going to be random what you get so what I got might be different uh, you might get a different color than I did but it's nice to kind of get like a, a nice supply of consumables that you know you're going to need and then that way I feel like you don't have to be, at least this is how I feel, I don't have to be precious about my consumables when I'm crafting and a lot of times that means that I am not as afraid to try different things and to just experiment with different techniques. So the wax seal design this month is this really lovely cross stitch heart and you'll notice that this is going to be a theme for this month's clubs. Then there's um, the I Got Cloudy Sky and what I've noticed is that some of the newer wax bead colors that I've been getting are coordinated with the Spellbinders solid color cardstock. I've actually never compared them side by side, uh, how well the color matching is, but I do recognize the names. So I know that that's the name of a solid color cardstock by Spellbinders. So that's a great um, benefit if you are a club member. If you are not, you can still get the club, meaning for the wax seal, it would be the seal stamp itself. But if you ordered this, after the club enrollment period ends, then all you're going to get is the seal. You're not going to get it with the consumable, and that's the same with the Glimmer of the Month as well. And as also, club members do get free shipping too, so that's another little bit of a benefit. With the Glimmer of the Month, I think these are stitch designs given given the theme of the clubs this month but when i look at it i kind of see tire tread marks like i feel like i can probably combine these in such a way that i can create maybe a tire tread uh i'm gonna have to look for some inspiration photos of tire tread patterns and see if i can <laughs> See if I can glimmer up a tire tread and make a card that looks like a tire has rolled over my card. Um, I, I'm slightly uh, too amused by the idea of that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a try. Now the um, set also comes with a banner die. This is a nice. Uh, kind of like a very soft, uh, curvy one, and the Glimmer sentiments match that curve. But if you wanted to stamp a sentiment inside this, it wouldn't be too hard to kind of manipulate your stamp a little bit to fit that curve, because it's a pretty soft curve. So the sentiments that you get are, you are so amazing, so spelled S-E-W, stitched with love, that would be really fabulous with the stitching die club, which I don't get. Um, so thankful, S-E-W so, and happy stitching, um, which is lovely. So that's the glimmer of the month. And then we also get, um, or I, I should say, I also get the clear stamp and it does have the coordinating dies to go with it. 
This one has a lot of sentiments in it, which I think is going to be great. So I'm sure the clear stamp is going to feature itself on a lot of my cards because this is probably where I'll be getting a lot of my sentiments from. I love this. Handmade with the scissors, the kind of antique -y scissors. And that one does have a coordinating die. The word happy and the word high. The heart also has a coordinating die. It looks like some of the sentiments have dies, so this one looks to have one. Here's some cross stitching. Stitched just for you. That's another great one to go with the stitching club or any stitching dies really. So that's that's really lovely. Um I'm guessing this one, because it's multi-line, has a die. This one thinking of you with each stitch. That one seems to have one. So yeah, it's the multi-line sentiments that have dies. And the thing is, is that these single line ones, I bet, I bet most, if not all, are going to fit on this banner. Yeah, even this long one will. So these single line sentiments, they are pretty easy to just nudge a little bit up and down um, to match this curve. So I'll, I'll uh, try to remember to do a video on how to how to um, fit one of these into a curved banner. So that's really lovely. And uh, you do have the option of getting the uh, stamp by itself or getting it with the coordinating die. Um, so that's that's awesome. Lots of really great sentiments there. Man, everything is sewing themed by the way. <laughs> I just took a little peek ahead. Um, so this is the small die of the month, and here's a um, a spool, I guess? I don't know. Do you call it a spool of embroidery floss? So this would be the base. Then you get the... That's the actual thread that you would put on the two ends and th that little section the m in the middle. And then you even have this. That's the little, that's the little paper label, you know, that holds it all together. Uh, so that's really cool. Look at all that detail. Then all of these sentiments are really cool. They have that really nice stitched detailing in them. So we have individual words. Happy, thanks, hello for you. So that's really wonderful. Um, so oh, that's cool. So this will be another place to get sentiments from. Love that. And then, so I also do get the stencil of the month, and this too lets you create your embroidery floss. So let's see. This one is probably where you're going to start. So each of these has three of the um, embroidery floss so that you can easily... I, I really like... This is smart. I really like that they did this because... Um, they could have put all six on one stencil because you can see it doesn't overlap. Uh, so that would have been easy enough to do. Um, but I do like that they separated it so that it would be easy if you wanted to actually have these be alternating in color. So that's kind of, that's kind of cool that they did that. Um, yeah, you probably do want them facing the same direction. And so you've got that. Oh, but interestingly enough, <laughs> um, oh, well, this kind of makes sense. Okay, so then you have um, additional stencils to get the, the detailing onto these. So I'm flipping it back and forth because usually there's a number. Okay, yeah, so here. Um, there's a number in that bottom corner, so I have one, and this one, I thought I saw, this one's two, so one and two, and then we have, this is four, five, oh, so this is three, okay. So um, then you have this that lets you put extra detailing um, shadows onto all of the, the threads. So I guess, but this has all five. And if you wanted to do alternating colors, I guess what you could do is just go with like a gray and that should just darken um, whatever colors uh, below it. Because I think this is meant to add just a little bit of shadow 
to give the look of individual strands. And then these next two are meant to give you the details for the, the paper label that um, holds it all together. And so this is for stencils four and five. So five la uh, five piece layered stencil to create your different embroidery floss. Um, spools or is it a skein? I'm not sure if it's a skein. Oh, that's too bad. I thought maybe the die would coordinate to cut it out, but it doesn't. Does it do it the other way? No, it doesn't. Although I kind of feel like that's a bit of a missed opportunity. It would have been great if the die actually, because it's the same size. It's just not the same shape. Um, this is like super rounded on the ends and these um, are a little bit more irregular. Um, that's a little bit of a bummer. I'll be honest. Because <laughs> um, if your die can get you a little bit of double duty by cutting out your, the stencils, how how fabulous would that be? Then uh, I also get the large die of the month. And I've actually never seen one of these in real life. Um, one of these jars. It's pretty cool. So the idea is, I think that's like a pincushion top. And so you can die cut a separate layer to kind of go on top there. And then below here is kind of mason jar like because you have this as the lid, the metal part of the lid that you can layer. I bet you could probably convert this to just a mason jar. You could use maybe that die um, to maybe cut off. <laughs> or this is embossed here, so you can maybe cut along that embossed line and just have a regular jar if you wanted. But there's lots of other sewing themed items. So here are some gorgeous scissors. Look at that really ornate handle. And we've got some safety pins open and closed. You've got some needles. You've got, hey, cool, uh, a spool of thread here. And this one layers, so you can have this. Um, and then this would be the thread piece that layers on top. And you've got like a little a little mini um, spool or skein of embroidery floss and uh, some other accessories here. And then this is kind of cool. This is, you know, this is cool. This is, I, I'm pretty sure, meant to be a thread, just like a single line of thread. But you could use this as maybe like a flight path, you know, for butterflies, bees, etc. So that's kind of cute. I really like that. This is a really nice large jar. You know, it kind of goes with the theme of the large day of the month having those like large jars like we had for um, the water themed one. There was a jar and I think there was a jar for the bee themed um, uh, uh, clubs. So really fun. That's awesome. Then the 3D embossing folder is the last club that I have. I, I also do get the better press a club, but I don't have this month's um, at the moment. And so with this one, we have, I think, yeah, you can use this any which way. Um, it's just some sewing needles with thread that's already kind of um, looped through the eye of the needle. And they're going in every which direction. So this is this is a great non-directional embossing folder that is really fabulous for um, just starting a background on your card. And I I love these non-directional um, embossing folders because then you can get two panels for each time you you run you know half a sheet of cardstock through. So really really lovely that. So those are the club kits that I will be crafting with this month. Um, and so I'll leave links to all of the clubs if you are interested in the description box below. And as well, I will make sure to um, add everything to my Spellbinders playlist also. Thanks so much for catching this video. And until next time, happy crafting and have a fabulous day. Bye.